Hey guys, it's Belinda. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made 3D printed Unistrut caps. So we made this dining table slash ping pong table slash podcast table out of a single sheet of plywood and two 10 foot pieces of Unistrut. I'm going to make a video about that pretty soon. But um, when we were looking for caps for the Unistrut, the only thing we could find were these Thomas and Betts Super Strut caps. They cost about $4.98 for a pack of two and we could only find them at Lowe's and not at Home Depot. They're 1 and 5 eighths inch by 1 and 5 eighths inch, which is the same size as Unistrut. Now there's nothing wrong with them. They work, they're fine, but they're blue in color. And we wanted something white to match our chairs and the rest of our furniture. So we decided to make a 3D model and 3D print these strut caps. There are certain things we had to take into account while designing this and printing it. The first is that in cross section, these strut pieces are not exactly square. The sides are not always parallel to each other. The other thing we have to think about is that these caps that we 3D printed are made of PLA, which is a little bit firmer than these super strut caps that you can buy at the store. So the first thing I did was download a 3D model of a strut cap from the Unistrad website. But the problem is it was too elaborate and I wanted something simple. So I decided to just model one myself in AutoCAD. I started with a 1 and 5 eighths by 1 and 5 eighths inch square which is the same size as Unistrut. I then extruded it 3 16 of an inch and filleted all the edges an eighth of an inch. I then created an outline of one of the wings that's gonna sit in the Unistrut and hold the cap in place. I extruded this profile 3 32nds of an inch. I created a copy of this wing on the other side of the strut cap. Once the model was done, I joined all three pieces together and exported it as an STL file, which I could then open with Cura. When I brought the model into Cura, the only thing I changed was the infill, which I set to 50%. I then sliced it, saved it on my external, and printed it on my Creality Ender 3 printer. We're really happy with the way these turned out. I mean, it's better than paying 250 for a single strut cap, and we can also make it in whatever color we want. Uh, I'll upload this model to Thingiverse and I'll link it in the description below. I'm gonna post a video on this strut table that we made pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.